Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in the last video what we did is we made that very first spider and all that that guy did is he went to my homepage, gobbled up all these links and it was like alright there are all the links and I'm also going to take that URL and move it to crawled so you don't accidentally crawl the homepage again and we were like thank you mate for that. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and make 8 spiders multi-threaded and all of these can run at the same time working to crawl the rest of the website so what we're going to do is we're going to say hey you know those links in the queue right here this is pretty much our to-do list so i'm going to create eight workers eight spiders whatever you want to call them and once i have a bunch of jobs and a bunch of workers they can just go ahead and do their thing so let me just go ahead and make a function called crawl since this is going to be kind of the heart of it. So, all right, uh, what this fu function is gonna do is it's gonna check if there are items in the to-do list, and if so, then it's gonna crawl them. So check if there are items in the queue. Uh, if so, crawl them. All right, simple enough. So now, queued links. Just set these equal to file to sets. Where are you? Q file. All right. So again, like before, we want to be working with a set. So we're going to say, hey, whatever links are in here, convert those to a set because it's a whole lot faster. And then just store it in Q links right there. So the next thing I want to do is how do you tell if there are items that need to be crawled? Well, you just test for the length of it. So if length of cube links is greater than zero then go ahead and continue so essentially if there are zero items in here then our program is done and we don't have to do anything but as long as there is at least one link in there then we have to keep crawling so the first thing I'm actually going to do is just print a little indicator and this is just so the user knows that something's going on and I'll say I'll give an indicator of like how many links are left in the to-do list so since it's going to be number, I need to convert it to a string. And I just need to say for length of key links. And then I'll say that many links uh, in the queue. Q U E U E. Looking good. So after this, I'm actually going to break it up into create jobs. And I didn't make this function yet, but I will in just a second. So again, all we're doing right here is checking if there are links that need to be crawled. Now after this, like I said, we're gonna need to create jobs. And I actually feel like sticking it above here because all of my threading functions, I kinda wanna group together. So all of these links that you see right here, we pretty much need to stick it in the thread queue because that's what threads need they can't just work directly with a set or with a file and i don't know you have to complain about the people who created python instead of that but it's really easy we pretty much just um loop through the set and then put each item in the thread queue it's incredibly easy so i'll just write uh each queued link uh is a new job all right so define create jobs and again this is going to be called as long as there are links to be crawled so how do we do that let me just copy some code right there um, all we do is say for link in file to set queue then for the thread queue put link so again all we're doing is we're taking these and sticking them in the thread queue nothing hard or anything like that so the next thing you need to call in here is q.join and that just ensures that whenever you have a bunch of threads that they don't bump into each other and they kind of um lock their operations until the next one is done so most of the time you want them working at the same time but whenever they're trying to find out if there are more jobs you actually want them just to say hey uh don't try to do this all at once wait your turn be nice workers so there you go and then after it's done creating a job and doing this thing, we want to call this again just to get the updated version of it. All right, 
So now we have a bunch of jobs. Now we have a bunch of things that our threads can do. But we don't even have any workers yet. We don't even have any threads. So again, right here, all we did is we created a bunch of jobs, added a bunch of items to the to-do list, and made it compatible for threads. So now let's actually go ahead and create those threads.